Okay, we've got another hypergeometric uh, distribution question to look at. And so let's take a look. It says, a bag contains two red, five black, and four green marbles. Four marbles were selected at random without replacement. Calculate. And then we got four different things to look at here. So I'm going to lay out um, all of my choices here again. So we've got red marbles, black marbles, and green marbles. And for the red, we have two, the black, we have five, and the green, we have four. And then we have a total of marbles, which is going to be 11. If I just add all those up, two plus five plus four. And the sample is how many we're selecting for our group that we're getting here, which says four marbles are selected at random. So our sample is four. Okay, so now that I've got that all laid out, let's take a look. Part A it says the probability that all four are black. So the probability of four black we're going to take, we've only got five black to start with and we're choosing four of them. That means that no marbles come from the other six. So we have to do six choose zero here. And then the bottom is always going to come from here. It's the total choose the sample size. So the total is 11 choose 4. Plug that into your calculator and you should get 0 0.015 um, or 1.5%. Part B. Part B wants us to calculate the probability that exactly two are green. So the probability that two are green, we're going to take, we have four of these and we're going to take two of them. Now the rest of them are, there's seven other ones where we are taking the other two from those seven. And the way anything can happen is that we've got 11 things and we're choosing four of them. So if I plug all of that into my calculator, you get 0 0.3. 3818, which is approximately 38.2%. Moving along, Part C. Part C says the probability that exactly two are green and none are red. So we want the probability of two green and zero red. Well, if we have um, two green, that means I've got four and I'm choosing two of them from the greens. And if I've got no red, that means everything's coming from the black. So the other two have to be black. So five choose two. And of course, the total number down here is 11 choose four again. Plug that into your calculator. And we get 0 0.1818 which is 18.2% approximately. Okay, now the last question has to do with expected value. So we want the expected value of um, red, black, and green marbles. Um, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to shuffle this around so that we can see. Oops. I'm going to highlight that and bring it down here. And I'm going to highlight this and bring it over here so that I can actually still see what I've written up here to do part D. So we're going to do part D over here. So part D, we want the expected value of red. Um, I'm just going to put a little R down there so we know this is expected value of red. And remember that our um, expected value is n times a over a plus b. Now in this case, we've got a bunch of different things going on here. So, so how am I going to plug this into this formula? Well, n is our sample size, so it's going to be the same thing in all of them. And a is our desired um, desire, the number of our desired items. So in this case, our desired items are the red marbles and there's two of those. So I'm going to put the two here. And then the bottom is the total population entirely. 
So our total population is 11. So this is 8 over 11, um, which is 0 0.73. Now we're going to do the same thing for the green marbles. So if we do the expected value of green, uh, and I'm not going to write the formula out again so that we have room here. The expected value for green, our sample size is still four, but now we have four desired items, which are the green marbles, over 11. And that's going to give us 16 over 11 which is 1.45 green marbles. And the very last thing we're going to do is the expected value of the black marbles. So the expected value of the black marbles, sample size is still four. This time our black marbles are five and the entire population is still 11. So this is going to be 20 over 11, or 1.82. Now, if you add up all of these things, you should get the total sample size. So add them up, and you're going to get 4, or approximately we've rounded those things. So it's going to be somewhere around 4. If you added up the fractions, you would get exactly 4. 8 plus 16 plus 20 is 44 over 11 is exactly 4. I uh, hope that helps.